This video will demonstrate how one could find a, a profile graph for a line going across a terrain surface uh, using ArcGIS Pro. So here, just for illustration, I have a DEM in the background, and this line is, represents a journey somebody could take walking along and going up the side of this ridge. And so a profile graph could show us how steep that is and where they would go uphill and downhill and so on. Uh, so the way you can do this in ArcGIS Pro is to search for Profile Tool. This is in a toolbox called Ready to Use Tools. It actually uses ArcGIS Online in the background and uses Esri streaming elevation data to calculate the result. Actually, no elevation data will be streamed in this case. That data lives on the cloud. Uh, your line will be sent there. Uh, the profile graph will be created and then returned so you can use it. Um, so for the input line features, let's just select this path. Um, we don't need to set the profile ID field. For DEM resolution, we'll just say uh, the finest available. Esri's elevation data varies in resolution around the world. Uh, so here we'll just use the best uh, available distance, which is a safe choice typically. Um, and then we'll leave the defaults for the rest of the stuff. Notice here that the DEM in our data is not actually used in this profile graph. Um, so let's go ahead and run the tool. And what will happen is we'll get a new layer appearing over in the contents list uh, that we can use uh, to examine the profile a little more closely. Now that layer has been returned, you can see it's symbolized as green. And what we want to do here is right click and we'll say create chart. And notice that we have profile graph available. So this will show us the graph of the landscape. In this situation, we see that as we move along the landscape in horizontal distance, uh, each of these 1,000 meters would be one kilometer, uh, we're steadily climbing and climbing. Although at the beginning, we dip down into a little goalie, which you can see happening on the map right about there. Now our elevation increases from a start of a little less than 300 meters to up above 600 meters. Um, all of these options are configurable in the profile graph uh, by looking at the different uh, chart properties. So we could open this chart pane to set those properties. And when we like our graph, uh, we could use export to export it to a file. For example, you could save it as a PNG file uh, to share with somebody or embed in a website. Let's go ahead and change some of these properties. I just click this properties menu. Uh, in the horizontal axis, for example, maybe we want to have kilometers and the vertical axis, uh, we want to maintain that as meters. Or we could even change it to feet uh, if we would like that. For example, we can make miles on the bottom. Uh, this is a trek of about four miles, climbing a little over 1,000 feet. We can also change general properties, such as the chart title, before we go ahead and export. I can export this out. Uh, maybe I'll save it in uh, just a temporary folder. We can put on a suffix, so if I want to save it as a PNG, i go ahead and do that. Looks like I had one in there already. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. All right, there is our output PNG file of the profile graph.